Greetings and welcome! Today, we're going to be doing episode 66 of our Let's Play series. And today, I think we're going to start a little bit of auto crafting with our refined storage system. So, let's just jump right in. So here we are. Forgot we gotta grab my jetpack back. My jet plate. There we go. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna build into the system over here. Like so, and we're gonna place it over here. We already got a little uh, cubby hole here. Let's uh, dig it out just a little bit further. Make sure we add lights and whatnot. There we go, whoops. Didn't need... That was a little bit weird. Okay, we got it back. So we got a little bit of a hole here. Oh, we need to put down a torch here. There we go. That'll help us out a little bit. So we'll carve out a little bit of a place here. So we can put machines and whatnot. I think it'll be quite a good start. One more. Okay. That should help out quite a bit. Yeah, we won't break that one like that. <laughs> Bad things will happen if I do that. Okay, so it's a good start. Gives a little, a little bit of an area here, so let's grab our excavator here. Let's dig out just a little bit higher. Should be able to make this look pretty nice. Don't worry, the whole episode won't be digging, just part of it. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> We're only gonna dig out a little bit. Once we finish out this little room, we'll be good to go. And we won't beautify the room too much because nobody will really see what we're doing back here. Besides us. The beauty of it being our room. There we go. Let's carve out the last few and we'll be done. There we go. And there we go. That should be good enough. That gives us a nice little room to work with. We'll put some more lighting in here eventually, but this is the gist of what we're gonna do. So, now that we got a little bit of a room here, let's take the items that we've obtained. And let's put them in our system. There we go. Clean up our inventory nicely. So what we want to do here is make the crafter, the crafting stuff from refined storage. So let's see here. We're just a basic crafting setup, so we're gonna need a few pieces to make it possible or to make it happen so I think we need these storage blocks not really sure how they work but we are gonna do our best to make them work and then they got the fluid storage blocks hmm. storage blocks let's see here so it's gonna require a 1k storage part a machine casing and some basic processors so let's see so, one case storage part. We got the stuff for that. Okay, I think we got that as well. We only need a basic processor, right? Let's see. Oops, for one. Yep. We'll grab a basic processor. And then let's see. What else do we need? A machine casing. We can do that. What did the 4K need? It requires a 4K storage part. Which requires multiple 1K storage parts. Okay, so we'll make the 4K. See how that looks. There we go. We got that one now. So nothing special out of that. So let's see here. Of course, it's going to require pieces of the last one. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so let's grab our solderer. Got to find that sucker. Well, we have to find it here. SOL. Must be in, uh... It's either gonna be in one of the chests, or it's gonna be... In that bag, but it's not in the bag, so here it is. So let's drop this baby down. Right there. We'll go like so, and watch it work.
Boom. You got that. So, let's see how this thing works. Let's attach this to the network. So this allows us to put stuff inside of it. I'm not entirely sure what it allows us to put in there. Let's see. I would assume we put crafting patterns in there, but I'm not sure. Let's see here. That's fluid storage items. Let's look at our refined storage stuff here. We have some basic processors and stuff. So let's make a let's make a 1K storage part. Can it even go in there? Let's see here. Yeah, it goes in there. It ghosts in there. So it doesn't actually go in there per se. 4K storage block. Hmm. Let's see here. There's got to be something we're missing here. Well, let's make the pattern grid rule first. I, real quick, I guess. See what that does for us here. Make one of those. We should already have one of those. Yep. And we'll need a full blown grid. We're missing the middle piece. And we're missing the middle piece of that one too. So we'll make this one first. Then we'll make this one. And then we'll put it together in our solderer here. Let's see what we can come up with with this. We can put our tools back for now. Clear up some inventory space while we wait. I'm pretty sure refined storage can do auto crafting. If not, we'll need to upgrade. Let's see here. We'll stick this right there for the moment. So this allows us to make patterns, I guess. So let's look for something that says pattern, I guess. Well, we have patterns. Do we not have enough to make more than one? Oh, that's weird. We can't pull it out. Let's try here. There we go. We can make quite a bit. Let's make a half stack. Oh, that's exactly how many we can make. There we go. We can make a full stack of that to add in there. Okay, so let's put these may end up moving that eventually. So this pattern maker will allow us to make patterns. And then it's going to be stored somewhere, I would think. And that's what I thought the storage blocks were for. But let's see here. Storage monitor, security manager, Let's see what a crafter does here. Well, we gotta make it first. Make our machine casing first. And then we'll make this if we can. Yep, we certainly can. And then again, stick it on the network. Okay, so this may only accept patterns. That's what we that's what we want. So let's start with the machine casing. We got a pattern for machine casing. Yep, there it goes. So I guess we just make these and store them in there. Not quite sure what these do though yet. 
the storage blocks. Hmm. You may have to look that up. Okay, so now we have the machine casing pattern. So if it needs a machine casing, it can make a machine casing. So let's see here. So we're going to need... Let's try a crafting monitor. We're gonna need a machine casing. And then we'll... Oh, we need two of those that we just put in here. And we'll grab that like that. We'll stick this on the network as well. Okay, so this will allow, to allow us to make things. So, let's see. Display normal, non-craftables, only craftables. Okay, so if we made, let's say, 10 of these. We are missing items. Okay, so let's... Let's use the... This one. And we'll look up this recipe. Make the pattern for it. Throw it in there. Okay, so it'll allow us to make those. So if we said make 10 of these. Oh, nice. It made those to make that. There we go. Okay, so we got this. We got this. We got what we needed. So we need the crafting monitor. Or not the crafting monitor. The crafter, which will make the items. Okay, very nice. So we're going to need to move the pattern monitor out here. So grab it. Okay, there we go. Now it has access to the network as well. Perfect. So now we just need to... As we get recipes, we need to start adding them into this crafter here. But what we're going to do is we're going to move this. That's just a temporary setup until we figured out what we needed. Now let's make a pattern for our crafter here. And for our patterns themselves. So let's see. We'll grab that one. And then we'll... Ooh, this is going to be a toughie because it requires a lot. We're going to have to make a pattern for each of these. So let's start with you. Okay. And then let's go back to you. And then we'll hit you. There we go. Slowly we'll get through each of these. Now the advanced processors... We're not going to do them yet because that would require us to set up and have a pattern for the solderer, which we were, which we're going to have. Let's see here because that would take a little bit more time. Let's drop this down here and I think we'll put a interface on it. So for that we need, I think an interface would be the right one. It'll be import export and a machine casing. So let's make those. We should already have them. So let's test it. Okay, we do not have any import exports. I thought we did. Again, check over here just in case. I do not see any. We must have only made the exact number we needed. For downstairs. That's kind of terrible. So we got one of those. And then one of these. Okay. So put all these together. You're not the crafter. Whoops. 
Well, that didn't quite do what I wanted it to. Importer and exporter. Where'd the other one go? Okay. Let's see. Well, I got it right there. Importer, exporter, and machine casing. That's all it requires. Importer, exporter, machine... Oh! We have to solder it. Let's see here. Right, we find... We're gonna need... Whoops, make some more of you. Okay, so there's a couple stacks of those thrown in there. Now we shouldn't have a problem making several of those again. And we'll have some on us. There we go. Okay, so our item should be getting close to being done. Whoops. Yep, be careful when having things in your hand. There we go, so now we have an interface. Put it on top here. And with that, use the pattern interface. Let's make something as simple as... A processor of some sort. Like a printed basic processor. Hmm. Processing. There we go. Let's try this. Oh, that actually worked. Neat. Okay, so let's try to drop it over in here. I think it goes there. I can't remove it. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's add this to the network and see if this will craft that. There we go. Let's see how that works out. Only craftables, it didn't show up. Maybe it's not an interface. Well, now it's not there. Where'd it go? It went in here. Well, there it is. Hmm. Let's keep trying to figure it out. If it's not an interface, what is it? I don't think it's a relay. Hmm. Well, let's look at our crafter again here. No, I don't think it's that. Because it needs to be connected to a device. Hmm. There? No, nope, not there. We don't want to import or export. No, it just shift clicked it into the network again. Dang it. Let's see, it's gotta be, there's gotta be some way for it to work here. I wonder what a writer does, in a, well, a writer and a reader read something, I would assume. Network transmitter, network receiver. Hmm. Let's see here, we have the controller, we have the grid, crafter, pattern, fluid, portable one, crafting, storage, security, crafter, disk drive. 
disc manipulator. Don't really have many objects left here. That one's a storage thing. Let's see here. Or wait, not that. Nope, it's only storing the pattern of it. Not sure how this 4K storage block works. Unless this is purely just for fluids. Hmm. We're definitely missing something. Well, we got some level of auto crafting up and running already today. We have this one, which we'll set up here as a part of our network, and we'll drop all the patterns we've made so far in there, which is a step forward for our auto crafting. See, if we hit this, we have plenty of craftables to be able to make. And it's very nice. Now we just need to figure out how to process these ones. I'm sure there's a way, and I'm sure we'll find it. Oh wait, we don't have the solder on the network. That's another one. It's connected to that block, but I don't think it's quite on the network. Let's see, there we go. Now the solder is on the network. But you have your interface import, your interface export, and then whatever this is down here. It will not allow anything in there. Definitely interesting. The relay, that doesn't seem quite right. The interface did seem like the right part. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little research and found out that it is pretty easy to get this in here. All we really have to do is swap this out for a crafter and then we will put a import interface on there. So we need to make another crafter real quick here. So let's see. I don't know if we have any of the components needed for a crafter here. But let's... Security manager, storage... Where did I see? There it is. The crafter itself. And we have enough for it. And then we need to make a importer for our network. Like so. Which we can as well. So what we'll do here is we'll... It says it had to face it. That should be good. And then we take our pattern. Put it in there. And then our importer as a part of our network. We'll break that block because it won't be necessary. Now let's test this out. So, only craftables, and bam, there we go. Printed basic processor. Let's make a couple just to test it out. And watch it work. There we go. Working like a true champ. Now we have what we need for the solderer and for our basic crafting system. Things are looking up and things are starting to run. I think that's where we'll call this episode to a close. We'll continue to work on this as we get more parts and as we get more advanced. So thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.